This is the app bots home dashboard. Here we have the total number of bots, active bots, successful bots, and the bots that are currently running. In the dashboard, we have overview and metrics. In overview, we see the status of all the executed bots. Here, in peak reports, we have the ratio of completed and errored bots in a pie chart. In the bar chart, we see bots that are errors and successes for each month. In the prolong bots chart, we see bots with the duration of more than 15 minutes. The transient bots table shows bots with the duration less than 15 minutes. In metrics, we can view bot execution based on the period. In the last one day summary, we see a line chart of the bot execution from the last few hours with error information included. In the prolong slash transient chart, we see how many bots were executed either above or below 15 minutes. In the A Day Bot Run table, we have all the errored or completed bots that were executed in the last day. Now we're going to execute a bot in an EBS instance to create a supplier. For bot execution, the instance details should be captured. These instance details will be entered in AppConnect connections. Here we'll be using form playback. Our connection is SAP Fiori connection. Here we have the URL of the target instance where we'll execute the bot. For bot execution, we also need to provide the login playback name and logout playback name. For bot execution, the browser will be launched. The details for that launch will be given here. Now let's check on the bot that we're going to execute. We're going to execute the supplier creation bot. Here we have the steps that are to be executed in the supplier creation bot. In this bot, we have three major parts. One, to create a supplier. Two, to create an address for the supplier, and three, creating banking details. We can create multiple suppliers, multiple addresses, and multiple banking details. Now let's run the supplier form loader. The loader is present in AppConnect. We'll go to the loader screen and search for the loader we want to execute. We'll execute the supplier creation loader. In the input data screen, we see space for sheets corresponding to our previously mentioned parts, suppliers, address, and banking information. We'll upload the files for execution. We've uploaded the separate files and are ready for execution. The browser will be launched and the bot execution will be started. Now, the username and password for the EBS instance are being entered.
Here, the bot is searching for the navigation to open case supplier. It's clicking on supplies. In the supplier page, it will click the create supplier button. Now it will enter a few details that are required for the creation of a supplier. It's, it's entering organization name, alias, tax county, tax registration number, taxpayer ID, and the website address. It will proceed by clicking Apply. Now it will create a new organization for the supplier. Here it's entering an alternate supply name. Now, it will enter the address details for the supplier. It will enter two addresses. The first address will be in India. It will enter the county, address, city, state, postal code, address name, phone area code, phone number, and will check an option for the address purpose. Now it will assign the operating unit for the address. The first address has been created for the supplier. It will now create the second address. The second address will be in Sri Lanka. It will enter the county, address lines 1 and 2, city, state, postal code, address name, which is a mandatory field, phone area code, phone number, email address, and we'll check an option for the address purpose. Thank you for watching.